It is a unique opportunity to get inside some local art studios and see the artists at work. This weekend is the second annual Shano Country Miles of Art event. And Simon Levin and David Ashenbrenner, two artists, are here to tell us all about it. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I'm going to start with you, Simon. What is the event? The event is a studio tour, which is different than an art fair because you're coming to the homes of the artists. You're seeing where the art is being made. And it's really kind of fun event. We'll have each host will have different artists from around the county. And these are artists who don't always open their doors to the public, right? right? Yep. Um, and you get to see how the work is made. You'll talk to the artists. Um, uh, we're at our place. We're having uh, demos. So you'll see potters making work. You'll get kiln tours at Dave's. He'll explain his process. Um, there's painting. There's food. Newskis will be at our place and cool. other at the um, WOW space in Wittenberg. Um, and there's live music. It's a really fun event. Yeah, and while you're hopping from one studio to the other, you might get to take in some of the barn quilts, maybe some fall colors that are there in Shawano County. Well, he sets you up a little bit, David. Talk a little bit about your process as an artist. I'm a bronze sculptor. I, um, my underlying premise is uh, I turn ice into metal. And nobody else, nobody else is doing that. So I will have the doors open and walk people through how I do that. Um, lately, I've been mixing uh, hand-blown glass elements into the work to complement the metals. And um, I'll walk people through that and show them how that's done. So you start with wax, is that right? I do. I start with ice. I go out in nature and I find ice. And then I, I make a wax oh. mold of that ice form. And then that eventually gets melted out and turned into metal, so that piece of ice now will live on forever. So the creative process begins in the wintertime. Very for you. much so. Very much so. <laughs> All right. So. And th these are just two of the examples yes, that you have. Yes, these are some smaller pieces. I do a lot of uh, larger scale work also. And you, Simon, work with a different medium. Yeah, I work with clay. Um, I fire uh, with wood. And what happens with the wood is we, it becomes a narrative process. We can see the path of the flame as it moves across the work and we can pull colors out of the raw clay. So on this cup, which I brought for you, oh. is um, I love my job. <laughs> we get to see the flame move across so the work. Uh, let's hold that we're gonna hold it up to camera eight a little bit just to explain that you didn't add the colors that are on here. They came out of it. Is right. That right. Well some of it is ash landing on the pots from the fire we're burning, from the wood we're burning and melting and turning to glass, but then also that flame is pulling colors out of the raw clay. You're going to demonstrate some of that this weekend? We're going to be demonstrating. We give The kilns themselves are these large um, structures that I build that you can actually walk into. Ooh. And so we, part of the kiln tour, um, people will come in and see how the process is and we'll try and really bring it alive. We won't actually have be firing during the time. And look at this piece. I mean, can you see he did some inlay uh, the glaze in there. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful and you can see as they describe the process today but you can actually see it in action. It's, is it both days this weekend, Saturday and Sunday? Yes. Saturday, Sunday, 10 to, 10 to 5. All right, there's the information right there. Five studios will be open, three galleries. For a link to smartwisconsin.com, I just love that name, go to fox11online.com. Love that one too and click on Good Day Wisconsin for all the information. Thanks guys. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back.